Well, unfortunately, many of the, you know, the uh, conservative judges who've been appointed uh, have misunderstood what, pub what it means to uphold public safety. And, you know, we still believe in the Second Amendment. It's part of the Constitution that you have rights as a result of the Second Amendment. But there are limitations to that. I mean, just to give one example, the right to bear arms, it's not the right to a shoulder-fired missile, as one example. There are limitations on the kinds of weapons and the places that we need to, would we allow people to carry a, an AR-15 into the White House? No. So uh, it's clear that there are some misguided decisions that get made at the circuit court level, the federal court level, and I'm hoping that it'll be overturned along the way uh, if it has to go all the way to the Supreme Court, uh, it'll be disappointing if they uphold this, but I, I'm hopeful that the law that was passed in Illinois a number of years ago that's frankly um, you know, done a lot to keep people safe uh, will be upheld. We'll have to have some discussions about uh, the best way forward in order to protect people um, as a result of that ruling. Uh, I, I respectfully disagree with the governor and and those who you know are are you know taking that uh you know side of the argument that um people being able to defend themselves is you know gonna increase crime or something like that in fact i would hope that People who are intent on victimizing others, knowing that they have a soft target on public transportation and the stations and so on and so forth, uh, will stop that thinking and uh, and and not attempt to commit those crimes in those places because they know that if they do. Uh, the people that they're victimizing might actually be able to defend themselves. While this is litigation is ongoing, I would caution people to follow the law because I would hate for someone to get in trouble um, in the interim. However, the state has an unconstitutional law on its books. The judge has declared that. You know, when people bring civil rights lawsuits that people, you know, that the authorities violated their rights, that's, that's what they're doing. They're bringing a claim under what's called Section 1983. And when the government knows that the law is illegal and they go and force it against someone anyway, they're potentially opening themselves up to liability. So they might disagree, fine. They, but the fact is, is that I think they would have a really tough time right now trying to justify how to enforce a law that a federal judge has told them is unconstitutional.